Hello, I'm Terry Sweeney, and if you watched the, the couple of my last videos, I've been talking a lot about you know money and value, and in particular, I'm trying to move everyone away from looking at the world from a money-based perspective, so that we can start to see things from a value-based perspective, because becoming more aware of value is the thing that's going to you know impact your life the most. There's a lot of conversations around wealth. People are very interested in wealth and becoming wealthy, right? But you know, one of the things I sometimes talk about is what is wealth? And ultimately, is wealth money? Wealth is not money. If you were stranded on a desert island and you had you know, 13, 30 million dollars in a suitcase next to you, but on the island there was no, there was no animals, there was no water, you know, it's not, that money is going to be worthless to you. It's not the money itself um, that is valuable, right? Whereas if you, on the other hand, if you landed on another desert island that had, you know, goats and, you know, people and, you know, food, plenty, plenty of food and water and shelter, um, would you be wealthy? I would say, you know, in, in, in most terms you would be, right? Because you'd be able to, you know, at least you'd be able to survive and you'll have some experience of life. So while everybody's thinking and talking in terms of money, the impact is that is that people are not aware of value and people are becoming less and less aware of value. And unless you can really look at um, some of the trades that you're making in your life from the perspective of value, it's very hard to, um, to make good trades, to be honest with you. And we are making trades all day, every day. Every moment of every day, you're making a trade. Right now, in watching this video, you're making a trade. Whether you're sitting on the train or whether you're, whether you're at your work, you're giving, you know, like four minutes of your time to watch this because on some hand, you think it may be valuable for you, and hopefully it is. But we are set up as human beings to filter for value. All day long, what we are doing is we're filtering for value. You know, whether we go to work or don't go to work is because you know it has more value for us to go to work because then we can you know get paid or pay or you know give yourself shelter and food. That's why you know that's what gets us out in the morning because there's some need, right? We are filtering for value when you go for lunch and whether you buy sushi or why you, whether you buy a chicken sandwich, right? Because in that moment, that you know chicken sandwich that you go and buy for your lunch has more value for you than the five dollars that you have to give, you know, for that chicken sandwich. Every moment of every day, you're making decisions based on um, what has the most value for you, or certainly the more conscious of value that you become, you will be making trades like that. Sometimes people can make a lot of trades based on programming. In my view, I want to get the world really across here to start looking at um, what is happening in, your, in the day-to-day -day moments that are going to have a positive impact in your life. Because value, I define value as the capacity of an item or service to impact your life. And whether that's you giving value or getting value, there should be some consciousness of what you're giving and what you're getting. And the more people in the world are aware of the trades that we're making um, every day, the better off we're going to be able to support each other. And the better off we're going to be able to impact some of the issues that we are having, you know, in society at this time. You know, as I say always, you know, get your attention on value because value is where the juice is at. Value is everything.